For more videos visit ForTheSakeOfEducation.com Alright guys, I'm gonna do these two problems in which if the 1500 pound boom AV, the 200 pound cage BCD and the 175 pound man have centers of gravity at G1, G2 and G3 respectively, find the resultant moment uh, produced by each weight about A. So basically you have G1 right here, G2 is right here and G3 is right here and each one is creating a downward force with their weight. Downward force here, it's going straight down, downward force and downward force. So basically I want you to find the moments about A. So the first thing you want to do is you want to draw your lever arm and you know that that's the lever arm that each one is turning. Now we got three different lengths. We got three different forces. So WG1 is equal to 1500 pounds is given. WG2 is equal to 200 pounds and WG3 is equal to 175 pounds. So the f from left to right, the first force turns this tiny lever arm right here. And that lever arm that it's been turning has a, let's call it L1. This is L1. Actually, yeah, this is L1. This is L2. And this is L3. So as you can see, the first force is turning L1. And L1 is equal to 10 cosine of 75 degrees because we're given the angle and we're given the hypotenuse of this right triangle, which means that it's 10 cosine of 75. L2 is equal to 30 cosine of 75 because the length from here all the way up here is 30, which is 10 feet plus 20 feet. And L3 is equal to L2 plus 1.75 plus 2.5 and also L2 has this segment as well so it means that you gotta add 2.5 feet so L3 is equal to L2 plus actually it's just plus 175 that makes more sense. Okay, so this is L1, which is 10 cosine of 75. L2 is from here to here. So it's this segment right here, which is 30 cosine of 75 plus 2.5, which is to here. And L3 is L2 plus 1.75. So now we can calculate the moments very easily. The moment that G1 creates about A assuming counterclockwise is positive is equal to WG1 times 10 cosine of 75 and it's negative because it's going it's turning this little arm clockwise this comes out to be negative 3882.3 foot pounds which means that it's turning 3.8 eight kilopounds per foot in the clockwise direction because it's negative. The second force, assuming counterclockwise is positive, the second moment that G2 creates about A is equal to also negative, also going clockwise, WG2 times L2, which is 30 cosine of 75 plus 2.5 and it's equal to 2052.9 negative foot pounds or 2.05 kilopounds per foot going in the clockwise direction 
the third moment, assuming counterclockwise is positive, that G3 creates about A is equal to negative again WG3 times the arm which is L2 which is 30 cosine of 75 plus 2.5 plus 1.75 feet and it comes out to be 2102.5 foot pounds negative or 2.1 kilopounds per foot going the clockwise direction That's it for the first problem. Final answer for the first moment, final answer for the second moment, and final answer for the third moment. Now the second question, they basically want you to find the resultant moment produced by all these weights, and the weights are the same. So all we gotta do is just add these three together. And when you do that, you get that the total moment created about A of all the forces is equal to eight point oh four kilopounds per foot going on the clockwise direction of course because all the forces are going the same way so final answer for the resultant moment please comment below if you want me to do any problems and i'll be happy to help thank you